enthusiasts. This is Erin Parsons. Welcome back to the Village channel. Today we are talking about something that is so important for your candles. We are talking about the wick. The wick is the heart of your candle. It is the fuel delivery system that takes the melted wax up to the flame to fuel it and keep it going. So you definitely need to make sure that you pick the right wick for your candle or it won't burn properly. So let's get started. We're going to look at all the different wicks that we offer at Village Crafting Candle and what you would use them for. So we're going to start with the cotton braid. The cotton braid wick is a spooled wick that is uh, square braided and it is a great wick for things like uh, vegetable wax or beeswax because it gets good and hot. Now our spooled uh, cotton braid wick is a raw wick which means that it's not primed. So after you make your wick with a tab, you're gonna wanna make sure that you prime your wick. Now, why do you prime a wick? You prime a wick for a few different reasons. Putting the wick, putting wax on the wick helps to make it a little bit stiffer for when you're making it. It'll help it stand upright while you're making your candle. Um, but the most important part of uh, putting, uh, priming your wick is the fact that it offers a little bit of fuel at the top of the wick to get your candle going before the melt pool gets going. So you need that fuel to get your candle started or it will just burn down to the wax and then fizzle out because it hasn't had enough time to get some fuel going. So this is our cotton braid. We highly recommend it for beeswax. Um, it's also, if your candle is uh, taller than our pre-tabbed wicks, which are uh, six inches tall, then you're also going to want to consider using the cotton braid wick because it's the only wick that we sell that can be uh, made taller than six inches. So, um, so that's the cotton braid. And then these are the tabs. We sell regular tabs. We sell long neck tabs, we sell big hole tabs. So for uh, this wick, for example, is the number three cotton braid, you would wanna use a big hole wick for, or a tab for this one. So those are the cotton braid. Then we'll move on to the premier cotton wicks. So the premier cotton wicks are a flat braid cotton uh, wick. They are also great for vegetable. They're actually pretty, pretty good for any type of wax uh, that we sell at Village Crafting Candle. So uh, the Premier Cotton, it's uh, primed in high melt wax. So uh, it, it's great for getting your candle going. Um, it's a beautiful white wick. If you're looking for something nice, pure white, the cotton Premier Cotton wicks are a great option for you. So those are the Premier Cotton. Then we're gonna move on to the Stabila wicks. So they are formerly the CD wicks. They are a cotton and paper braided, flat braided wick. They are also great for vegetable uh, and beeswax. Um, the construction of them is coreless and it is also uh, primed in the high melt wax. So the Stabila wicks are an excellent option for your, for your soy, your beeswax, almost anything really. So similar to the Stabilo is the HTP. It is also a paper and cotton bra flat braid wick. Also, once again, um, primed in the high melt wax. Um, so they, just like the Stabilo, are great for your, um, for your soy, for your beeswax, um, any of your vegetable waxes. So those are the HTP. Next, we're gonna come to the zinc. The zinc core wicks, um, I recommend using those for paraffin wax. Uh, they have a thin <laughs> wire of zinc down the center of um, the cotton braid but that's braided around it. The zinc helps to um, keep the wick going. It also is great for helping to hold the wick upright while you're making your candle. So. Those I generally recommend for paraffin, not so much for soy because sometimes they can uh, get
get a little bit um, overwhelmed and drown in the vegetable waxes. So generally paraffin is where the way I go with the zinc. Next, we are going to move on to the wood wicks. So the wood wicks can once again be used for pretty much any type of wax. Um, you have to just depend, it depends on the width to determine how hot the uh, wick will get in order to meet your, get your full melt pool. So you just need to be careful about the size that you select. Um, they come with these tabs. So you just slide your wick down into the tab and then you put that into your candle. So those are our wood wicks. So next, we're going to show you our votive wicks. So these are a premier cotton votive. Now, the great thing about these that make them a little bit different from a, a regular wick is the extra large tab. So this tab is great for when you're making your votive candles. You just lower it down and that tab will help to center your wick for you. So those are really a great wick to choose for um, your soy votives. We also have these in um, zinc. So those would be good for if you're doing paraffin votives. And then finally, we have our tea light wicks. So these are the soy tea light wicks. They're made from a premier cotton wick and a 14 mil tab. And so these are made for any of your vegetable waxes being made into a tea light candle. We also have zinc, which once again would be used for your paraffin. So those are the main types of wicks. And then once you've decided on the type of wick that you want to test, you need to find the right size. So I get asked all the time, how do you figure out the right size wick for your candle? And quite often people will say, hi, I've got an eight ounce um, vessel that I need to get put a wick in. What wick would you recommend? Well, first of all, the amount of ounces that your candle holds is pretty much irrelevant in choosing your wick. The most important piece of information that you, the two pieces, most important pieces of information that you need for selecting the right wick is first and foremost, what is the diameter of your jar? So you need to measure the diameter of your jar and then you need to know what wax you're using. And once you have those two pieces of information, then you can go on and find the proper wick. So you always need to make sure that you find a wick that is made specifically for the diameter of your candle. If you, if you are looking at wicks, the end, it does not tell you what diameter it's recommended for, don't get the wicks because you don't know what diameter they are meant for and you're just shooting in the dark and don't. Um, and there's a good chance that you're going to end up ruining some candles with wicks that don't work properly. So those are the most important things. Another thing that people will um, mention is the height of their, their candle. The only reason the height of your candle will matter, will come into um, play when choosing your wick, is if your candle is taller than the pre-cut wicks. If your candle is taller, then you want your the tip of your wick to stay about a quarter of an inch above your wax. So these are six inches tall. So if your candle is above five and three quarter inches, then you will want to make sure that you get a spooled wick that will, that, and, and make your own wicks so that you can make the proper height. So, those are the most important pieces of information that you need to know when selecting your wick. These are the many wick options that we have at Village Crafting Candle. So now go forward and make your candles.